Hi guys, it's Hannah from Better Lettering and today I wanted to show you something really cool. This I would consider great for beginners. Um, it's not actually watercoloring, but it looks like a watercolor background. And so I used my Tombow dual brush pens, which are water-based, to create this really neat watercolor effect. I will show you what you need, but first I just want to go over a couple of these. So there's this one that's with all the blues, oranges, pinks and purples, greens, and then more with like a yellowy orange. So the fun thing about this is that you can mix whatever colors you think will look awesome together. Um, if you have the full pack of Tombow dual brush pens, you the, the possibilities are endless. Now granted, you can use Crayola markers as well. They are also water-based. You just have to find a water-based marker. But I just love my Tombow dual brush pens. So what you'll need is some watercolor paper. I have already cut my paper into little sections. You can make these as big or as small as you want. If you wanted to do a bookmark, you can make them nice and skinny and small, or you can do a page in your bullet journal with this and tape it in. You can give it as a card, whatever you wanna do. So just cut to whatever size you want. I then have just a cardboard backing from one of my sketchbooks that I'm going to tape this to. Um, notice how I have these white lines around the edge. Now these are not perfect because I didn't measure them to cut them, so they're all jagged and stuff. But if you actually do it the right way, you can make sure everything's straight so that when you peel it off, you have a nice white border. You're also going to need some sort of painter's tape or washi tape. Um, I used washi tape for all of those. It works perfectly. You have to be a little bit gentle taking it off, but it's not too bad. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape my watercolor paper to this cardboard. This number one holds it in place and like I said, it creates that white border. You wanna to try to make sure that the border is about the same all the way across. As I said earlier, I didn't measure mine so it's not even straight to begin with, so mine's not going to look amazing. I'm going to show you a few different color combos, so I already taped the rest of my paper to the cardboard, but I just wanted to show you how I do this. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to choose your colors, and so I will start out doing my purples, or pinks. And the colors I used for that is number 679, it's kind of like this plum color. I then went in with my 755. And lastly, 723. So these are the colors I used for this one. The other thing that I use is an aquash, Pentel aquash brush. This has the barrel already filled with water, so I don't have to dip it into water to get it wet. You just squeeze the barrel a little bit and it comes out this tip. You can also use a paintbrush with normal water, whatever you have laying around. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the top portion of this. You can decide how far you want the purple and how far you want everything else. It's totally up to you, whatever you want. Keep in mind that this is watercolor paper and the Tombow dual brush pens may fray a little bit if you use it on these. Most of mine are already frayed and that's why I don't mind using it. You can also buy replacements online or in Michael's stores if you are in the US. Alright, once you have that all colored in, you're going to take your paintbrush or whatever you have with water and you are just going to start painting over it, just like this. I usually go side to side and you'll have a little bit more dark color so it will blend into this pink really nicely. And I'm not using a whole ton of water. I'm definitely squeezing it a little bit so I get some out, but you don't need a whole lot. You don't wanna warp your paper too much. Now 
You can go back up and blend it a little better if you would like, or you can leave it as is. There we go, I think that's good. Then I just have a piece of scrap paper I'm going to clean my brush off on. And when this is drying, I will show you a couple other combos and then I can add like this little city line in or you can do some trees or mountains or you can letter on it if you like to letter like I do. So I'll set this aside and let this dry. Like I said, I had already taped some extras, so I will show you the other color combos that I used right now. Next, we'll do our blues. I used number 565, number 443, four, number 452, and number 553. So we're gonna do the same exact thing that we just did before. can do the orange next. So I used this grayish black color, N35. Then I went in with 925, 933, 873, and 850. greens that I used, number 346, 296, and 243. So, once again, I used this grayish black N35. I then went in with 946, 985, 025, 055, and then 062. So, this one was definitely more gradual. I used a lot more colors in it. dry to the touch so I'm going to add some black details. I think I'm going to do the same thing that I did here. I really like how this turned out and I will show you just how I did it. So I took my Tombow dual brush pen N15 and that is what I colored in each of these buildings with. So you can actually use this tip, the fine tip, to outline your buildings and then you can color them in with the brush and if you would like. All right, after that, I have my Uniball White Signo. That's how you say it. It's a white ink gel pen and I went in and just added some little dots to represent stars. You can also use paint if you want. Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White Ink is really good for that. There you go, our first
first one is all set. The last thing you'll do is remove this tape. Just peel it up somewhat carefully so you don't rip your paper. You can see that nice, clean, crisp edge. I have not had any problems with just washi tape bleeding through, but it depends on how much water you use, I think. Possibly the brand of washi tape as well. There we go. Now I'll quickly just go through the rest of the ones that I did and I can speed it up for you. helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or message me or whatever you need to do to get into contact with me. I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, and I'm obviously on YouTube. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching!